Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. One of the biggest things that's affecting the Ummah, both old and young today, is the level of Iman dropping. Goes up and then drops, goes up and then drops. And that's normal for your Iman to go up and down. But what's not normal is for your Aqeedah to go up and down. For your belief in Aman to Billahi, you believe in Allah, O Malaikatihi wa Kutubihi, and you believe in His angels and His books, wa Rusulihi, and you believe in His prophets, wa Yawm al Akhri wa Qadr Khairihi wa Sharrihi min Allah Taala, and you believe in the hereafter, and you believe that all good and all struggles come from Allah, wa Al Basibad al Maut, and that it is your hak to have life after this death. <clears throat> this is our basic aqidah as a Muslim. This should never fluctuate. This should always you have the same belief. That unfortunately, what's happening today is not the iman fluctuating. It's the aqidah of people are fluctuating because of the amount of fitna that we see around us. Yeah. It can lure the hearts of people. And so they start to question Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the worst things that has happened to the world in general and to the Ummah specifically is this short attention span. When you go through all these different little videos on Instagram, on TikTok and others, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 5 seconds. So your attention span becomes small. And so the problem with that is, in the long term, is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised you what? He has promised you paradise. In return for doing good and staying away from evil in this dunya. But when you have a short attention span, your mind doesn't want to look that far ahead. To death, to akhirah and so forth. I want it now. <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He promises you paradise. Promises you all these things in paradise to both men and women. But no, you want it now. Your attention does not allow you to go think that far ahead. So one of the biggest things that we as Muslims have to do is try to distance ourselves as much as possible from social media and especially from going through these short, short videos and so forth and so on. It's not good for our long-term health both in this dunya and for our iman. One of the, the salaf in the book Al-Shu'ab Al-Iman, number 55, it says Abu Jafir Rahmatullahi alayhi reported that Umayr ibn Habib Rahmatullahi alayhi He said Iman increases and decreases It was said I.e. somebody asked him a question How does it increase and how does Iman decrease Umayr ibn Habib Rahmatullahi alayhi He said If we remember our Rabb and fear him It will increase If we are heedless and we forget And we waste our time Iman will decrease if you look at the solar system, you have the sun. And the further you get away from the sun, the colder the planet becomes, the darker it becomes. Okay? And the closer you get to the light, the more you have a chance of having life and living and so forth and so on. This is now the perfect equilibrium when it comes to Iman. You go to one extreme, which is you try to get too close to the sun also you become lifeless and if you go too far away from the sun you also become lifeless so the earth is a perfect cinder equilibrium where there is enough light but not so much and the earth is able to sustain life there's enough energy but not too much when it comes to our deen, it's the same thing. We cannot go so far into asceticism that we forget about living the life of this dunya because that's too extreme. And we cannot go into so far of living the life of this dunya that we forget about spirituality, getting close to Allah. That's another extreme. You have to find that perfect equilibrium where you work, you spend time with your family. Some of the companions that came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, Ya Rasulullah, we are hypocrites. The Prophet said, why do you say that? He said, because when we're sitting with you, our Iman is high. And we're constantly thinking about Allah and the Akhirah. And when we leave your presence, we get involved in the dunya. 
we get involved with our families and we forget about all the beautiful things you were saying so our iman goes down and the prophet said sallallahu alaihi wasallam if you were able to keep your iman <clears throat> at this level when you are around me all the time you would be at such a level of piety that the angels on the streets would be shaking your hands meaning this is an extreme that you cannot really attain so he said sallallahu alaihi wasallam when your iman is high thank allah alhamdulillah ya rab and when your iman is low what do you do do istighfar do tawbah and as ramadan is arro- arriving for us and it has um, started to come forward uh, inshallah in the next day or two will be beginning around the world sometimes people they they try to belittle somebody who wants to come close to islam during ramadan a man might leave his beard and people make fun of him this is a man who just he's a ramadan uh, uh, muslim he might start going to the masjid regularly and they belittle that effort a woman might start wearing hijab during ramadan and people belittle the efforts ah she's just a, a ramadan muslim subhanallah why a person might be struggling so much and you see them rising on their feet a little bit rather than to go and help them and encourage them we belittle them and we make them feel low so then they even leave that and whose fault is that the people who belittle and the people who belittle somebody's little bitty efforts even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is unhappy with that when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was doing um, he was asking for a zakah in order for them to go on an expedition some of the people they came and they said oh rasulullah we will give this much and this much and this much and one of the men he was very poor so he gave only a half um, maybe half a pint or a pint of dates that's all he had and he wanted to give that in the effort so some of the some of the people some of the wealthy people they were making fun of him you know, what is this a small pint of date allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed an ayah that you should never belittle somebody's small efforts or the little bit that they can do perhaps that one is better than the big ones that you do allah who knows if that is sincere encourage people this is the beautiful month of ramadan where people come close to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we see that on our own selves or on our muslim brothers and sisters we should encourage them even more ya mashallah alhamdulillah and if after this ramadan if they stop you encourage them continuously and then perhaps somewhere down the line they would come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but we should never lose faith in coming back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he loves us so much this is why he continues to give us life even though we stray away from him should we not be grateful to Allah should we not turn our hearts to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now